Do you push up or down? Do you use your hands to push off the blocks? Do you go deep or shallow underwater? Do you do a grab start or a track start? The physics of swimming has the answers. Welcome to the fourth part of physics of swimming. If you want to see new swimming videos every week, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. So what is the best way to use the laws of physics to dive perfectly? The moment of entry is one of the most important aspects of the dive. The best way to enter the water is in the smallest tube possible. Decades ago, Olympic swimmers used to enter the water almost in a belly flop to get a further jump off the blocks. However, this is not ideal because of the surface tension of the water that slows you down. To understand this, let's go to the molecular level to see what's happening. Water molecules want to cling to each other. At the surface, however, there are fewer water molecules to cling to since there is air above. This results in a stronger bond between those molecules that actually do come in contact with one another and a layer of strongly bonded water. So the best way to enter the water is breaking the surface with the tip of your fingers and trying to go through that hole with your entire body. How do you jump then? Well, technically, the best way to do that is to jump up and come down at a steep angle, but you will be too deep in the water to change directions forward. So what we usually do is to push off explosively in a horizontal direction. And then when we're completely stretched out, we position our hands down a little bit with a tight streamline. Then at the moment of entry, we pull up our hips slightly which helps the legs enter a little cleaner. Also, the whole body is tight and the ankles are in plantar flexion. Okay, let's rewind a little to the blocks. To push off the blocks faster, use a track start rather than a grab start. Remember that as we saw in the physics of swimming part two, the harder you push an object, the harder it will push back. So to increase the power of your push, Use both of your hands from the beginning of the dive. They are an important part of initiating the momentum of the jump. Now, let's fast forward to the moment of entry. You might think the dive ends when you enter the water, but you're missing one big part of the start of any race. Once you enter the water at the right angle of about 30 degrees, you need to pull your upper body a little bit to a horizontal position and start the underwater dolphin kick or initiate the glide of the breaststroke pull-up. This change in direction is very important since you have a lot of downward velocity thanks to gravity. You can take advantage of that by redirecting it to a horizontal speed. It is important that you know how many dolphin kicks you want to do because that will influence the optimum depth at which you want to start your dolphin kicks. The more kicks you plan on doing, the deeper you want to be, but try not to go too deep. Around one meter or one yard should be enough to go up to 15 meter mark. If you're watching this, it means that you want to be a faster swimmer. We made a swimming program that will help you do just that. It is short, it is fun, and it works. Click here to find out more about a swordfish program. If you want to watch a step-by-step -step guide to learn the perfect swimming dive, click on this video. Or if you want to improve your reaction time, click on this other video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Swim fast.